I did a, a 20k time trial um, with some of the uh, triathlon Bundesliga boys. I was very pleased to be only like one, one and a half minutes behind all these really fast boys. However, I am still looking for some improvements. This year I have achieved quite a few modifications with my bike. Notably these um, short 150mm crank arms um, with a big 56T chain ring and it's been good. Oh, um, I shouldn't forget this saddle. This saddle enables me to sit forward, really forward. And at the front I put the um, a quite long stem which is going down quite a bit and uh, also I've shifted the ampas quite forward so you can see the the holes here and yeah so I can uh, lean quite a lot forward and lower as well because of that I actually had to make my own gummy mount um, I chopped um, and cut a uh, PVC pipe. Um, so far it's brilliant. It actually, um, I would say, the best uh, uh, gaming mount, uh, cycle computer mount I've ever used. I highly recommend it. It's just like used the, uh, I think that was 25 mil PVC pipe and cut, cut the, the pipe to fit the, um, the bars and put holes on both sides and use the, uh, the cable ties to fix it. By far it's the best. And with this setup I did a, a 20k time trial um, with some of the uh, triathlon Bundesliga boys. Um, it was 20k but actually the distance was 21 and yeah th these boys are really fast and uh, um, some of the faster ones they, they do middle distance as well as pros. Um, I was only about uh, uh, one minute, one two minutes behind them even though I actually got a wrong turn and I had to do I think 14 180 degree turns instead of 12. So considering that, that's quite good. And also uh, these boys were using um, a very light setup without uh, full on liquid uh, bottles. I actually did that with a full on Ironman setup because I just wanted to see. So obviously when, when we do like 14 um, turns, acceleration takes a lot more uh, time with my setup. So I was very pleased to be only like one one and a half minutes behind all these really fast boys. However, I am still looking for some improvements. What is it? I've I've looked at uh, oh yeah uh, as as you've seen I've used the uh, uh, Bond uh, triathlon shoes. I put a cleat uh, fair in the middle. If you have a look, you can tell that. Uh, it's got the uh, the most backward position. Four aft. It's like the most aft position. Having said that, I still want to try midfoot pedaling option. The reason why I looked for uh, something like Bond or, in fact, midfoot uh, uh, cycling shoes was to. Um, make my calves less stressful. I didn't really want to use my calves because um, with 150mm uh, crank arms I do feel the difference. I actually do use more of my calves than before and I some people might say just train your calves but um, to be honest it's always better uh, to have less if we get by and some, um, for, for example um, you, you know Joe Frio 
He's uh, uh, the author of uh, many endurance sport books, training books, training theories, and also he he created Training Pigs. I'm pretty sure you've heard his name before. He actually um, uses midfoot piddling. He has been doing that for quite a long time, and uh, uh, he he started doing that uh, a while ago. Um, I'm pretty sure he's still doing it. Um, when he started, he didn't have any negative um, experience from doing that. So he thought, might as well just keep on doing it. And it seems to be working quite well for him. Now, I looked for midfoot uh, cycling shoe options, but there aren't not there are many. There are many. The one I really wanted to get was Linterman. Uh, I believe it's an American company and uh, they, they do make minimal shoes but they're a version 3 uh, for middle foot piddling um, they, they've got this um, shoe on side on, on their site but uh, it's been coming soon for a very long time it's not soon enough for me I've been waiting and waiting but um, I don't think it's going to happen. Then there is uh, uh, a Biomac, uh, which is a, a German company or German guy, um, which um, is always referred to um, when I have a look at uh, some literature on uh, midfoot uh, piddling. Um, his, um, his custom shoe costs 445 euros and it, it's it's been molded and uh, personalized for for uh, individual feet um, but yeah it's 445 445 I can't pay that um, for something I I'm not sure uh, I would perform so well or not um, then they've got the Y series. He, he's got a new um, mass production model called the Y series. The thing is, I checked the uh, the sizing, and it's way too narrow for my feet. It's way too narrow. Um, it's pretty much one hundred percent guaranteed that I'm going to get sore feet, or I might not be able to pedal at all. Um, that means I can't use these um, options. Then I looked at an option of uh, using flat pedals. Um, I know um, there's a quite a lot of debates on that and some other YouTube channels have made uh, um, videos on this. Um, it's almost like there, there, there's no difference between clipless pedals and flat pedals if you are riding on flat at uh, constant speed of course if you're sprinting or climbing uh, serious mountains then clipless pedals uh, benefit us but it seems like there's not much difference so i i thought about just using flat pedals and uh, yeah see see what i can do the problem is that uh, i want to use my power meter to verify that my power meter is um, um, pedal version. Yes, this Asioma. I love it. I really like it because I can swap uh, the power meter between this uh, time trial bike and my um, road bike. Then I thought about uh, good old uh, Duathlon um, pedal attachments called Pyro. Back in old days, uh, duathletes used to use them. Uh, maybe uh, they use them now uh, like uh, uh, Olympic relay kind of stuff when um, when we are doing really short ones um, the the thing is uh, I thought about buying it and modifying uh, the attachments to middle foot but I thought wait a minute it actually has got way too many other extras and obviously that makes heavier and less aerodynamic 
So I thought, hmm, uh, maybe I should just make one. So, oh, by, by the way, I put all these uh, products, um, product links um, in the, uh, the um, descriptions below. Um, I'm not sponsored by any of these products, obviously, but uh, just for you guys, I put these links below. Then I had a look at uh, um, um, flat mountain bike pedal uh, called uh, uh, Pedlink. Um, I think the the company is called uh, Pedlink Innovations. Uh, what a name! Um, and I think the the pedals are called Catalyst. Uh, these uh, pedals are made quite uh, long, so that uh, um, when we put our feet on the pedals, it's not going to be like pushing like that, but using the whole uh, feet to push down. We have feet, it's got like a, a tripod points and that stabilizes. So I, I will show that to you later uh, when I actually show what, what I do with all the material and stuff. It makes quite stable um, position on a pedal. Uh, which I believe uh, we can produce a greater uh, output with less effort uh, because calves, calf muscles are very small compared to uh, our upper leg muscles and the glutes and we need these small muscles, oh, I, I shouldn't say small muscles but I, we, we need calf muscles when we run fast that's why it does make sense to preserve these muscles when we are cycling and it makes even more sense if there is not much difference between uh, flat pedaling and non-flat pedaling um, yeah or, or mid mid foot pedaling and normal pedaling um, that's that's big these are the reasons why I thought about um, doing um, sort of um, pedal attachments for um, clipless power meter pedals but it's going to be like a flat attachment construction uh, there are some obstacles but I hope I get by with them oh what have I got here um, first I'm going to show you what I mean from uh, tripod um, Excuse my um, sock, it's quite blue, um, but I think you get to see it clearly. So what I meant was like here, here and here. So these three points make our feet quite stable. That's why it kind of makes sense to pedal here, uh, because that's how uh, naturally designed, rather than putting the uh, cleat here or pedal axle here and pushing it down because obviously to do that we need to use extra muscles here um, instead um, if we actually put uh, the pedal axle right in the middle then it's going to be so much more stable it's going to be less strain and also uh, I believe um, it's going to be more efficient. When I run, um, I run forefoot or midfoot uh, uh, landing anyway. Um, so here is the shoes I use for this uh, uh, experiment. Um, this is actually uh, my third pair of first generation uh, Nike Zoom Fly. Um, why third? Um, I basically use the, the the first pair uh, over uh, one and a half no two years I can't remember for a very long time and just um, um, the sole the, uh, the form got too tired so I can't really run in them anymore then uh, I looked for uh, another pair that was a grey one with uh, um, red um, swoosh and and I thought, well, uh, now 
uh, there aren't so many left in the world especially like my shoe my shoe size is quite uh, mainstream so I thought well I better buy um, the uh, buy by this shoe uh, when it's possible so I got the third pair so now I can use the second pair and the third pair um, to train or maybe to uh, I keep one for racing I probably keep the, yeah, the gray one for racing um, as you can see I've got uh, um, um, sort of flexible um, rubber band uh, shoelaces um, this part is going to go away and we'll be tacked behind here with a special thing um, so when I'm pedaling um, the shoelace is not going to dangle around and I think that's going to reduce the, uh, the air resistance as well um, okay so next what have I got I ordered uh, um, you can see from site L shaped as a 10 centimeters wide and 3 centimeter deep aluminum um, so can you see that that's what I've got and I'm going to put this on a I'm going to put this on a pedal like this or this I haven't decided yet obviously I'm going to cut it shorter because it's gonna be so dangerous but you, you you get what I mean you get what I mean um, I think uh, maybe I can just put a shoe on top I don't know no, I can't do that with my um, I can't do that with one hand but uh, yeah I will show you guys how I'm gonna um, uh, create this uh, um, shoe pla um, flat pedaling platform here's a short answer I don't think I'd be uh, I don't think putting putting the uh, L shape edge up like this because um, it sticks out the shoe is gonna stick out so I have to do the other way so it's gonna be like this and shoe on top so it's gonna be like that by doing this way I'm not gonna uh, hit the uh, the power meter bit or uh, cranks which is needed uh, to pedal so it's gonna be like that I'm not sure if you can see it but I've marked where the middle of my arch is is here so I'm going to put a shoe on uh, the thing and just I think I decide a size by just looking at it um, I'm going to leave this pit bit um, with a bit of margin because I want to drill a hole here so I can put um, a rubber band through um, that's gonna be good for transition although when I hop on a bike the um, I'll be wearing shoes in this setup but still it's good to keep the um, keep the uh, platforms in level so when I hop on a bike I can just start pedaling uh, I might not need it but uh, yeah, for, for the first edition of uh, this platform I'm going to make a hole here and obviously I'm going to use uh, where is it uh, um, this uh, uh, keel cleat on the other side so it's gonna be on this side um, yeah somewhere in here then I don't know if I I don't know if I um, get to um, drill holes th holes through here and there but yeah let's see how it goes um, how I uh, fix the cleat um, I'm going to drill holes through then uh, I use a, a, a screw tap to 
uh, put M5 threads in. Oh, uh, it's not focus. Yeah, anyway. Um, I'm not sure if the um, the three mil would do the job. Um, I'm not sure if that's strong enough. In fact, uh, the uh, keel cleats uh, are curved, and I may be using only two holes to hold that. I don't know how stable that is, but um, since it's just a, an experiment, um, I'm going to try that anyway and see how it goes. If it fails, if I fail, I can do a new version, um, not a big deal. Um, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, um, for for getting a, um, getting rid of uh, this curvature, so I'm going to put washers here. So this gap here is going to be filled with washers. I got uh, longer screws as well. So hopefully that's gonna solve the problem. Now I've marked uh, these three lines. Uh, that's how long the, the plate is. That's the uh, center line, which is aligned with the, the cleat. Uh, obviously the cleat is gonna be on the other side, but uh, I just put this on this side to mark the holes. Um, can you see a line on the side? Um, that one on the side of the cleat. That's where the axle of the um, the pedals is. So this why it's uh, off center because I can't have this platform going over the power meter. So far, I've cut that out and uh, made two two of the same things uh, like that. And uh, yeah, uh, this one is bigger hole. These are like four mil holes. Uh, this one here, I've actually used a tap to uh, make it as a, what's the word? Uh, so I can put the screws in. Uh, these two have been done, so you can probably see the difference in the, the width. Um, that's M5, so I just put four mils here and here and here, and use a tap. Um, I now I have to do something else so um, I can't continue doing it but probably I'm going to do that this evening um, to see if I can put the, uh, the cleats on it's getting closer so before I install I want to see the, uh, the system weight uh, I just put the, uh, the bond with a cleat that's 290 and this one, or maybe, you know, just put the plate, shoes, cleat, and washers. That's uh, 490, so 200 grams times two, 400 grams heavier. That's quite quite a lot more weight. I might be able to reduce the weight by uh, putting holes here and here maybe. That could be an option later on. But first I want to put these on so um, I can see if that's strong enough or not. Um, one thing I worry about ha uh, having these plates without holes is that uh, uh, when it's wet it might slip, might uh, slip quite easily. Then, um, yeah, that's not going to be good. Yeah, it's uh, two two hundred thirty-two grams just for the plate. So this is what I've constructed for now. Um, I'm using M5 16 mil um, screws, and obviously the tips are a bit too high. Um, so I need to. Um, by shorter screws, maybe 10 mils or 12. Um, I put, it's really difficult to see, but I put washers to level things out. I actually leveled it too straight and the cleat didn't click onto the pedals. 
So I actually intentionally actually um, put less and kept a curve the curvature of the cleat so it actually um, stays on a pedal otherwise it gets unclicked really easily um, yeah so this is what I've got um, it's too late to try on a bike but I probably try I'm a bit annoyed about the length of the screws though um, yeah but I think I'm gonna wear really old pairs uh, I, I'm gonna really <laughs> I'm too tired I'm gonna wear a, a pair of really old shoes tomorrow so um, I don't mind um, screwing up the sole of the running shoes but yeah this is uh, how I've got now it's uh, rear heavy so even when I'm not uh, my my feet are not on it actually drags this way um, and when I start pedaling I can just put the weight on the front the toes going against here and it pivots like this so I can start pedaling straight away now I'm constructing the uh, the other side so I just show you guys how I'm doing on a flip side um, is a 16, 16 millimeter screw uh, then I put a, a bigger washer because it needs to be big in order to go over that gap then I put these two here and I put one at the front I'm going to put the screw later but uh, it's a bit offset so actually like this part is gonna touch the flat surface and this is going to be the spacer that's how I uh, sort it out um, I probably need a slightly more sophisticated solution to um, make it permanent but uh, yeah for now this is what I'm doing I just got back from a ride um, as wet um, so I went to um, a Tempelhof um, old old Tempelhof X airfield uh, near my place uh, and tested out because there's a nice uh, six seven K loop um, yeah um, this is uh, this is very interesting this is very interesting um, physiologically um, I actually felt quite comfortable um, I have never put out so much um, output through my heels I could actually push that was a surprise one problem with that is um, when I was pushing like upper 200 or uh, 300 watts 300 something watts I could actually feel that uh, the heels of um, the the shoes um, was actually sinking so I, I think that could be a problem I, I show you my I show you my shoes I use these um, this shoe um, first generation zoom fly pretty worn out and um, as you can see um, the form is totally compressed down so it's already like lost the, the softness but still I could feel that um, um, my heels were sinking down when I was pushing like 300 watts or plus um, so that could be a problem um, let's have a look at the the actual pedals um, that was actually quite good um, so I was worried that uh, these these screws are going to um, ruin my shoes but it seems to be okay of course I'm going to use slightly shorter screws though um, I have to order that online maybe instead of six, uh, 16 millimeters I'm gonna order something like 12 maybe that would get me 
a slight um, bit sticking out so I can still make them as an anti-slip and uh, but uh, that's they're not gonna ruin my shoes I hope um, yeah uh, interesting thing is uh, okay I, I show you how um, when I've read um, one of the issues uh, with uh, midfoot pedaling or midfoot uh, specific cycling shoes is that when we are uh, riding through the corner um, it's it's not so stable or it's uh, more difficult to ride because of how um, feet were feet are fixed to the pedals but with this I could actually like shift uh, my shoe from that position to this position like normal pedaling position so I could go through corners quite comfortably comfortably um, yeah so that was good oh um, I've just re realized that uh, this shoe has got really uh, sort of hard soles maybe I should be using this instead of um, instead of uh, uh, zoom fly when I'm cycling. One issue I had was that uh, uh, arm pads. <laughs> uh, why? Because um, with uh, midfoot cycling, the whole body goes forward. So naturally, my elbows had to go forward too. Um, the problem is like usually um, I put my elbows here but I actually had to put my elbows like here about that much forward and when okay I, I could actually pedal with my elbows being here but uh, I felt quite uncomfortable in my upper body and uh, yeah when, when I did like 300 watts um, I actually put my elbows here don't worry I did that on a, a safe flat part of the course but uh, yeah it's gonna be a problem um, as you can see the uh, the stem is really long and lower down and the, the armrest um, is basically put as forward as possible and can you see that here that's like using only one hole uh, on a tip it's like an ampas hanging right at the front I think um, I might need to um, make a special extension here so put a plate here and uh, put the the whole thing uh, like here so I can accommodate that uh, position um, I don't think with this position I can ever um, use a super bike I don't think any super bike with uh, a drink system integrated allow me to have such a forward arm part position for for the this size of uh, frame yeah it, it was uh, quite interesting I, I really liked it um, I probably need to test it for or I, I need to get used to the position for about six weeks to tell you guys how good this is so far I, I feel very positive about this uh, project but yeah, see where it takes. I think it's gonna uh, lead me to a better place um, in the field of triathlon anyway. Okay, see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.